hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will be watching how to export html string as a image file into your system so here what we have is currently a mvc project and we will see first what it is supposed to do so i have a html string here and i have pasted that string into a html file here and this is the output that we have so now we are gonna try to save that html as a jpg image uh, into your system so for this purpose we will first see the preview so i will just so i have written the code on the index method here i have created the method to create html to image and i will just reload to show you what it is gonna do so here we have a location where the image file will be saved and this is the same html that i just showed you in the beginning so now i will run the application and this will save the bitmap image on the location that i have showed and we will go to f drive so this is the image that it has created so you can see that it is the same output that we have seen in the beginning of the video so this is what we are going to understand how to do this so you can create a separate method but because i wanted to call it on index method so i created a method uh, here below here i have taken a source string and this is html and now the main part about this is you have to always use xua compatible internet explorer edge because if you do not do that then what will happen is it will not take your uh, style changes so you have to use that for sure to make it work now other apart from that you can use normal html here and then we will take one uh, uh, location we are going to save the image now here is a, we have started one thread here and this web browser is a, a class that is available by dotnet mvc so now what it actually do is it actually creates a virtual web browser and executes your html there so you can enable some options i will provide you the code and here i have set the width of the browser to thousand and you can change that width so here we are passing the source in the document text and i am also passing the file name into the web browser dot name you have many properties available there so you can check and use on your own now the most important part here is this method so we are attaching a completed document event uh, with web browser document completed now this will be fired once your html is rendered on the browser virtually now after that we will start the thread and we will put this inside the task so it will not block other ui changes now if you remove this part then what will happen is it will uh, block other ui happenings and that will not be good so you have to use this to keep things async now once the processing is completed on the virtual browser now it will go there and here we are picking the document width and height so now this depends on your html actually now we will pass the same uh, to the bitmap width and height parameters so now this bitmap will be created uh, it will create a rectangle there and it will and draw the output to the web browser and save the bitmap as the name because we have put the file name into the name parameter here so this is the path of the image which is basically f drive so this is how it will save the data now we will reload it once more and we will see how it is doing that so this is a thread and here we have source html and we have file name as you can see now we will just start the thread and task will uh, go next so now it is completed and it is getting here now it will pick the document with thousand height 
290 and it is creating a bitmap and you can see the file location here as image jpg so there it will save the file so for getting this source code what you can do is i will attach a link with the uh, video so basically you have to go to codenight.com that is our official website and here we have a blog called convert html string to image in c -sharp. You can open that and there you will see the option of download attachment. So you can download the attachment and use the source code that I have just showed you. And if you have any kind of issues, then you can comment on the video. And don't forget to share the video if it works for you. So thanks for watching guys and let us know in case you have any issues. So thanks for watching.